man, I really believe that at this point in my life, Tracy's the one for me. We belong together. We're a match made in Vegas. Yes, exactly, in Sin City, and that's where I intend to revive and renew it. I'm going to take her there, we're going to get married, I'm going to be sober. <laughs> I can do that, I'm not joking. And I found a beautiful little white chapel, recently converted from an auto body repair shop, and I'm going to get the best James Brown impersonator to marry us that money can buy. Dad, if you underestimate how deeply hurt and pissed off Tracy as you could lose her for good, you understand that? I appreciate your concern, cowboy, but I really do have this covered. <laughs> With what? A James Brown impersonator? I've got a couple of other aces up my sleeve. Tracy needs to know that you care. Like I said, you gotta speak from your heart and let her know how much she means to you. No, if I go all sincere on her, she's gonna smell a rat. The, the rat already stinks, Dad. You've blown it. You gotta redeem yourself. Whatever. Look, look he's right. Okay. You gotta make up some serious ground here. You know, you gotta, you really gotta surprise her. You gotta dazzle her with a little romance. And she'll melt when she realizes that you still love her. Oh, you know what? And you gotta just keep your hands off her bank accounts for the time being. <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> Come on, I appreciate the input, but thanks anyway. It's just time for me to go visit my little pretty pink popsicle. Oh, yeah. That might be a little difficult since uh, Tracy's had all the locks changed and a new security system put in. You found me. Uh -huh. Down, boy. I called Maya. Hi. Hey, so, if you're looking for good news... No, I really know there is no good news. And there won't be until I can talk to her face to face. And that's where you come in. Just warn Mercedes that Frank goes back and if she wanted to take a leave of absence, I understand. She's not gonna leave Jocelyn. Oh, not for a minute. Mom, I, I know this is scary, but this isn't about Jocelyn, it's just Franco trying to get a rise out of Jason. It's working. He also sent photos to Maxie and Dante. I know. He told me when I went to see him. This whole thing got started because I got sent to prison? It got started because Franco invented this stupid game to play with Jason and he wants to play again. Are you calling Dad? No. I'm doing what I should have done a long time ago. Hey, it's me. I really need you. Detective, I want to bring Franco to justice just as much as you do. Well, that's good. Now's your chance. Franco is an international killer. He's a suspect in multiple killings in France. Interpol can oh, handle this. Oh, forget Interpol. The key to breaking this case is sitting right here in Pentonville. Okay, you, you just want to save your own ass, though. When Jason sent himself to prison, that was a check in your win column. But, but you're too worried about screwing that up? Exactly, because Jason Morgan is one less thug on the streets. Why would I take a chance on turning him loose? Oh, because Franco almost killed Lulu. He strapped her to a bomb and left her alone. If I hadn't gotten there ten seconds later, she'd be dead. The guy is sick. He's got to be stopped, and the best way to do it is Jason. All right, Detective, look, I think you've got a lot on your plate. Your brother just got, you know what, he's out of prison, and you have to see to it that he doesn't violate the terms of his release. Michael's not going to violate anything. He wants this guy stopped as much as I do. You are supposed to be building a case against your father, and I think you're using Franco as a way to avoid busting Sonny. Christina's taking all her anger, her guilt, her frustration that she had for Kiefer, and she's channeling it right into Sonny. Right, but you, you know that Johnny blames Sonny for ruining Claudia's life, and now Christina's just offering Johnny a way to pay Sonny back. And you don't see this train wreck coming? Yeah, of course I do, but Johnny's not gonna listen he to me. He respects you. You're not enough to leave Sonny alone. I've tried. Johnny is the one taking advantage of her, but, but Sonny is doing the most damage to her, because if he goes after Johnny, he's confirming Christina's Alexis, fear. Alexis, I would, I would like to help you. I would, but I don't think I can do any good, even if I wasn't stuck in this place. All right, if you won't talk to talk to Johnny, will you will you speak to Sonny and get him to back off for Christina's sake? 
you protected Kiefer because you thought your father was going to kill him? If you keep this up, what do you think he's going to do to him? Okay, don't put this on, Christina. I provoke something. I want him to come after me. Are you hearing this, Chrissy? You are dating your father's worst enemy. Not only is he a gangster, but he is an older guy. It's like waving a ton of red flags in his face. I'm going after Sonny any way I can. I want to take him down. That means I'm going after his suppliers. I'm encroaching on his territory. If he comes after me and kills me, that's on me. It's got nothing to do with her. I guess you can't stop either one of us. Do not make decisions about your life based on how you think your father will react. Do not give anyone that much power. What the hell's going on here? You're coming home with me. No, Dad, I'm not. 